In today's Proof Without Word series, we are going to look at a famous identity which deals with the sum of squares of the first n Fibonacci numbers. The proof is rather colourful since I will be using quite a lot of colours as I walk you through the proof. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, the Fibonacci series need no introduction, but let me do it for the sake of formality. We start with the number 1 as the first and second term. To get all the rest of the terms in the sequence, we add up the previous two terms, or more succinctly, captured by the formula fn plus 2 equals fn plus 1 plus fn. What is less well known though, and what we will attempt to prove, is that the sum of squares of the first n Fibonacci numbers equals fn times fn plus 1. Let's take a look at the diagram we are given. We are given a large rectangle which seems to be subdivided into many more smaller rectangles. Let's start with f1, the first Fibonacci number, which is 1. We can think of it being represented as a sliver of red line of unit length along the upper edge of the rectangle. To square this number, we just fill it in using the red color. We can now view f2 as a sliver of blue line of unit length, this time represented vertically next to the red square we have just filled in. If you want to square this, note that similarly as above, we just color the square in blue. Note that for f3, the third Fibonacci number, arises naturally from our construction, where f1 and f2 lies side by side. We can view it as a sliver of green line of length 2, represented horizontally across the upper edge of the rectangle. And we conveniently note that the sum of f1 square and f2 square equals f2 times f3, as we can just view this as the area of a rectangle with length f2 and f3. Starting to notice something? Don't worry if you don't. We can go a bit further. Now, to get the square of f3, we just fill in the square of which unit length is f3 in green, and note how conveniently f4 arises naturally from our construction again where we have f2 and f3 lying side by side. And again, all these three squares fit in a rectangle of length f3 and f4, allowing us to conclude that the sum of squares of the first three Fibonacci numbers equals the product of f3 and f4. And of course, this similar iteration can be performed again, as we represent the squaring of f4 by filling in the square of which side length is f4, using the orange color. The pattern is clear. During each iteration, we are creating a rectangle whose area is given by the sum of squares of the first n Fibonacci numbers. At each step of the construction, we first tack on a square of which side lengths are the sum of the side lengths of the two squares in our previous iterations. And note that, by doing this, we created a rectangle. Suppose that we are at the n plus 2 iteration, the side lengths of the rectangles are then fn plus 2 and the sum of fn plus 1 and fn plus 2 respectively. This is then obviously equal to the product of fn plus 2 and fn plus 3. Note that after this iteration, we can tack on a square of side lengths fn plus 3 and the diagram is hence self-perpetrating. We have thus proven the required result and we have come to the end of a video. If you have enjoyed it and wish to see more, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video.